Yo, and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. It's Thursday, the weekend is almost here. I love weekends. They're so much better than when we have to go to work. Okay, got a couple cards, but a couple things I wanna talk about first. Um, yeah, so again, if you don't watch Bench Clear and watch On The Fly With Mike and Ty, first of all, you're missing out. But second of all, I don't know if you guys know, but I we acquired this collection that we're, that we're consigning where it's just all this old vintage stuff. It's been so much fun just going through it and looking at it. There are some seriously nice cards in this lot. And it's basically from about 55 tops through 57 tops are pretty rough. Um, there's a lot of them. And then 58 through 62 are really nice, like super nice. Like literally like here's the Yankees team card from 61. Like it's still got like the beautiful curve. Like, like this thing just came out of the pack. I mean, gorgeous. Here's a Kofax, you know, these are already bought by the way. So I'm already starting to do some deals with people. Uh, we're selling them for this guy and Basically, if, if you have checklists, if you're building sets from those years, uh, let me know. Um, there's some 52 tops, they are rough. Some 55 Bowman, they're rough. 54 tops, they're rough. But if you're that kind of guy, if you're just building a set, great. Um, might be able to help you out. So I'm gonna put my email address down below and uh, in the description. So just shoot me an email. Hey Mike, I'm interested You know, in at least having a conversation about it and maybe get some checklists and kind of start seeing what holes we can fill. Cause that's what we're going to try to do with this. When I flip the camera, I'm going to show you a couple pickups that I have. And then these other things that I found that w when we first saw them, this is what's cool about going through collections. You just never know what you're going to find. I'm like, well, this is, you know, nothing. And then I was on the phone with uh, John Keating, who is uh, that seventies uh, card show. Great guy. He was buying some stuff, helping him fill some sets. And anyway, we found some stuff that I can't wait to tell you about. It's just so cool. Uh, so anyway, let me flip it around. Don't forget to get in touch if you want. And I'll show you what I got and what I found. Hang on. All right. So let's go through kind of some things I found first. Then I'll show you my pickups. Uh, like he had a bunch of these. I think these are from 1956 Tops Flags of the World. Yep. And this is Ireland and, and I'm Irish. So I just thought that was really cool. So like, that's something I will buy from the collection myself and just keep it just cause I just think, I just think it's so cool. And he's got a bunch of those. So I got those. Um, he had a ton of football too. Like he had tons of 1960 tops. Here's a, this, this is a second year Jim Brown. And I mean, it is off center, but it is otherwise like absolutely crispy and way off center on the back. But there's just tons of this stuff, you know, great card, just cool Jim Brown, nice vintage Jim Brown. But these are the cards that I got that I found. Oh, I'll show you this other football one too. Football might be a slight theme today, but um, I have to pull it. I have it in a card saver, but. I think this is 62 tops. This is Johnny Unitas. I mean, black bordered card and there is, it is just beautiful, beautiful. Card number one of the set too. So anyway, just, there's a lot of stuff like that that is super cool. Tons of awesome baseball. And here's some stuff I found that I just thought was crazy. So this i'm getting to it hold on here's the checklist this looks like it was printed on you know a third graders like <laughs> it's just so bad but it's from 1961 you can see at the top there first series these were done by 7-eleven in 1961 and this was the guy's checklist and he was marking them off i have almost a complete set of these i'm missing uh a couple of cards but I think I have 20 of the 25, 24 or 25 of the 29, I think, of this. Like, I don't even know if John Mangini's seen these before. But, 
I mean, you got like Don Mossy. I know there's guys that love Don Mossy. Uh, a bunch of just common guys, but these are crazy. I looked on uh, PSA's set registry. There are only 129 of these graded total, like ever. <laughs> uh, there's the Whitey Herzog, and these are like super gorgeous. Like there's a Warren Spawn. There's a Stan Musial, shout out to Don. Bet he doesn't have that one. Bet he's never seen that one. How cool is that? Uh, so there's some good players in here, Dave. This Willie Mays is crazy. There's only been eight graded ever. Uh, the highest grade is a six, and I would imagine this would be probably equivalent to that. Maybe maybe a little higher, but it's so gorgeous. Uh, just because you go, I've never seen like. We just thought it was like throwaway stuff. We're like, we don't know what, like, what this is. But the last one of these in a six or a five, I'm sorry, PSA five sold for $1,250. So it's like, you never know. Uh, Ken Boyer, uh, Orlando Cepeda, Gil Hodges, uh, Yogi Berra. Uh, let's see who else. Ernie Banks. Oh, and then they have two like Hall of Famer guys. Like there's Jimmy Fox and Mel Ott. And it says Hall of Fame at the bottom. Like, these are just, like, totally random stuff. You'd be like, what? Those aren't anything. And then you look them up, and you're like, uh, yeah, that's something. So my two pickups uh, were actually from Ryan Nolan. The first one is going to surprise you. Uh, I got a LT rookie. Uh, big TCU fan. LT, one of the greatest ever. Could, could you put LT in the top 10 quarterback or uh, running backs of all time? I'd be surprised if you didn't. But, uh, yeah, his 2001 tops rookie. Ryan had gotten this back in a submission, you know, not too long ago where he just got hammered. This is an eight. I didn't care. I just thought it was cool and wanted it. It was 10 bucks, you know. So, yep, we'll do that. And then another card that he bought me at a show, actually, this is so cool. This was the very first ever pack inserted dual autograph. Johnny Bench, Joe Morgan, 1992 upper deck, numbered out of 2,500. And it's in a Beckett slab. Although, I don't, again, with my autos, I don't really care. How cool, the big red machine. I mean, just a great autograph of two great players. This is in my top 50 autographs of all time on the list that I created that just giggle, you know, my opinion on what the top 50 autographs, pack inserted autographs were of all time. I did that video a while ago and this was in it. So I've been, anytime I see these early upper deck, there's Ted Williams, there's Hank Aaron, there's Nolan Ryan, there's Reggie Jackson, obviously. And then there's this one, there's a bunch of them, but they are great. And I'm so glad to have added this into the collection. Actually, Ryan bought this for me at a show he was FaceTiming with me while he was at a show because he had a guy that had all these press steals. Unfortunately, I had all the press steals, which is fine, but the guy also had this. And I went, whoa, wait, wait, because he was panning the camera and this is down on. And he's like, I like, wait, what is that in the corner? And it had a very reasonable price on it. I think I, I think he had 300 on it. I think I paid 250. So just happy to own it. Very, very cool. So that is it, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, and again, if you want uh, any, if you're looking for any common stuff for set building or whatever from the late 50s or mid 50s to early 60s, let me know. Talk to you guys soon. Keep collecting.